Hello and welcome friends of our homestead. In our this week's video I'd like to give you an update what I changed on the setup of my biomass shredder for the biogas system. I built that shredder kitchen top combination plus minus one and a half year ago only to try how it works, can I work with it, what's happened. So it works definitely but I'm not happy with the handling. So I take that all apart now and I make a new setup for that. What you see here is the coupling where the shredder is connected to the kitchen top. It's a quick coupler so just the quarter of a turn and the shredder comes off the top. So the kitchen top is definitely too small. If you use a five gallon bucket just half full with biomass and you dump it in the top it's definitely not big enough to handle that amount of material and you have not a chance to push that down into the shredder together with water. It should be something definitely bigger than that. The shredder itself works absolute great. I'm pretty surprised with that. It took me a while to find a good cheap one, so it's a one horsepower machine. So if you are interested in it, you can find that on Amazon. I put the link for you in the description down below and it will definitely do the job. It is a Waste King L8000, one horsepower, 2800 RPM food waste disposer. I took it apart and now it's time to build something new. And it is like always, everything starts with cutting the parts. That's the plastic box I decided to use. I bought it in a fishing supply store. It was around about 20 bucks and it is super solid. I measured the length for the boards I need to cut. And I screwed all the boards together. Thank you. 
and the frame fits perfect over the box. I run the rough cut legs to the planner to make them nice and smooth. We always keep the wood shavings, that makes perfect bedding for the chickens. And I screwed all the legs to the frame. We post every Sunday a new video here on our YouTube channel. If you like our videos and what we do, please subscribe for our YouTube channel and don't forget to leave a thumb up for us. And if you want to be up to date, don't forget to hit the notification bell. I put the support for the water hose and the valve on. couple braces to make it more solid. And the electric. Because of I don't want to cut the plug off the shredder, I mounted another wall outlet in the metal box. You should not do the electrical part if you don't know what you are doing, it can cost you life. Better ask a specialist.
I took off the shredder connector from the old kitchen thing. I cut the hole with a hole saw with 3 inch 516s or 84 mm in the big plastic box. And then I mounted the shredder adapter to the plastic box. I cut the whole offset in the plastic box because I like to dump the biomass on one side and I want to wash it into the hole from the shredder. That's the one horsepower kitchen waste disposer from Amazon. Don't forget, if you are interested in it, I put the link for you in the description down below. I add the support for the disposer outlet pipe. I decide to make it that high because of now a 5 gallon bucket fits perfect underneath and there is enough space to move the bucket away. The reason why the outlet of the shredder is on the side, I don't want to have the bucket underneath and I have to put a little step in the front anyway. I mounted the water hose and the water valve and now it's ready to use. And it works like it should. That's it for this week's video. Thanks guys for watching it. If you want to support us a little, you can buy us a coffee. I put the link for you in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe for our channel. If you want to be up to date, don't forget to hit the notification bell and we see us next week again. Yeah.